Hey guys, it's me Vanessa from Art is Therapy. You know what it's time for? It's time for favorite art supplies. So far, these are my favorite for this year, 2024. My favorite supplies, what I can't stop reaching for and what I've been using as of recently, this year, these past three months of the new year of 2024, let me show you. I gotta share this with you guys. Let's get started and look at what we have one by one and then I'll actually create some artwork using these supplies. And this is the journal I will be using, the Archer and Olive. I did haul this last month for March and I wouldn't necessarily say this is a favorite. This is just what I'm going to use to incorporate all my favorites. So let's take a look. To begin, I have been loving my Art Nouveau sets. I couldn't throw away the packaging. I might just cut this out and glue it into a sketchbook because I just think it's so beautiful. Um, but this is the Gansai Tom, Tombai Kurataki set watercolor slash gouache in the Art Nouveau color theme. So these have been great. I love the color range, the way the colors are put together. They're mainly more of past some pastels, some muted colors, and there's a couple of bright colors in the set, but I think it's a nice balance of colors here. So we're gonna be definitely using those today. This is something that I hauled last month in March and um, this is a little dirty. They, they, don't worry, they, these are not acrylics on here. This is watercolor. I'll, I'll clean them up. However, these are the Princeton Aqua Elite brushes. And we have different sizes. This is a set that I purchased. And I cannot stop using these. These are easy to use for watercolor. You can even use them for gouache. And they're just fun and good quality. I've also been using this grip brush. This is really good for detailing and doing fine lining. I have neglected these, but recently I decided, okay, I've been using my Prismacolors forever because they're one of my top colored pencils, but I forgot that I had purchased these. I think it was during the summertime and it's a smaller set. I believe it's the 24 set and I had bought the 24 plus some additional colors, like maybe four or five additional colors from the set. And these are the Luminance colored pencils by Karen Dosh. And these are really creamy and nice to work with. I like the color selection. So we'll be using those. So this bag is amazing it is perfect i love that it has an, a handle it's inexpensive it has a bunch of compartments so it houses some of the things that i have for when i do art on the go i can fit my current watercolor sketchbook in here i am going to have a new travel sketchbook let me grab that and see if it fits so this is a smaller size sketchbook. I think it's um, an A6, I believe. I'll have to check on that. Let's see, no, I don't think that will fit. Well, maybe it'll probably be a tight squeeze. No, it won't fit. This is my new watercolor travel sketchbook. I wanna use this one specifically for travel. And so, that doesn't work, but now I know <laughs> it doesn't fit. But anyhow, so it houses all these things. It has these pin loops where I can stuff what I want in here. It has another compartment. I like how it's netted so I can see what's inside. It even has another has two layers of areas where you could stick pins and other items. This is this is typically where I store my 
watercolor palettes on the go. Oh, there's a hair in there. Whoops. So I have two of these art tool kits. And these are just a mashup of different brands that I just curated. Okay, so it doesn't have anything on this back side, but wait, there's more. But this front, it has another pouch and I can stuff this thing. I have all of these materials in here. Okay, so taking a look at what has been most used and what I grabbed for, it's going to be these items. So up first, we have the Stedler Mars Tech Nico, this is, I think it's called a clutch, and it holds a two millimeter lead. And you can use graphite, but I chose to do a colored pencil. So I have one in green, one in this red, and one in this blue. So you can adjust the amount of lead that comes out. Okay, so you will need a special sharpener for it, so you just have it stick out like that you stick it in here you'll feel it lock into place and you'll just turn and you can get it to a very fine point it's really sharp these do wear down pretty quickly so you have to do a lot of sharpening but I just like the thickness of the lead and this is going to be my it's not a replacement for my pilot color in you because this is one of my favorites but I have been really enjoying these because I can get really fine lines and then I can depending on the angle that I use it I can get more surface area with it so I've been enjoying these and the leads that I purchased for these they look like this forgot to close it <laughs> but it looks like that so they are you get 12 of the two millimeter and so this is the one in the green all right, so next is going to be a brush pin. So this brush pin is from Pentel and it is the pocket brush pin. It is beautiful, it is sleek, nice barrel. It just looks sophisticated in my opinion with a nice little metal clip and you get this really nice, sorry, my hands are dusty. You get this really nice, let me use this other side here. Um, brush tip and they are synthetic fibers and they're little tiny microfibers that all come together and like a real brush so I'm currently working on this in my sketchbook my mixed media sketchbook and I've just been experimenting with it you can get really fine lines and you can use just by using the very lightest pressure in the tip of it and you can get some really thick strokes or thick lines by using the side of it so it does deposit a lot of ink the ink is nice and dark and this is waterproof so i can add some wet media on top and this will stay put so i've been enjoying this i, I need to go back and finish this at some point all right so this happened at the perfect time this ran out of ink and i'm going to change out the ink cartridge which just arrived right on time so i'm thankful for that so all you do is just open twist and then remove and so on the packaging it shows you the more narrow end goes towards the the nib so you just want to break break through and twist might take a minute for it to run through, but let's try it. Okay, after a few passes, it looks like it's flowing really good. The only downside to this pin is that it does run out of ink quickly because it does deposit a lot of the ink as you draw. So when you do buy it, it 
typically comes with two extra cartridges, which I seem to have misplaced. It's somewhere in my art room. I know I'll come across it in the future. So I ended up buying a set from Amazon so that I have backups, but I love this pin. Chef's kiss. All right, so up next is not necessarily this bag, but what's in it. So let's take a look. These are the Ecoline pins. These are brush pins and they come in a nice fine tip. I just love brush pins. They're one of my favorite pins to work with. Now I had purchased these during the summertime and you didn't see it in a haul because at that time I was taking a break from YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna use this big old clip because I can't find any smaller ones at hand. But um, actually let me switch this. And so I had taken a break because I had, I had to take a summer class for a new class that I'm teaching and I was overwhelmed with writing new curriculum so I, I didn't have time for YouTube. But what I like about this is that it's so juicy. It just, the ink just flows on the paper. You can blend with them. They're just so pretty. And they stay wet for a, you know, for a while. Enough time for you to work with them and blend with them. Now, if they do, when they do dry, because they will dry, of course, you can add water to them. So they're like watercolor pens. They are akin to the Tombow pens. Now, I love Tombows. I, they're one of my favorites, but these pins, Tombow pins are not as juicy as the Ecoline. So I guess like in some ways there's benefits, pros and cons. You have a little bit more control of where you place it, whereas this like kind of spreads out a bit more. Um, but the color vibrancy is, and the colors are more juicy here versus the Tombow. This one has a dual tip, so you get the finer nib, or I'm sorry, the brush tip, and then the finer nib for detailing. All right, so it says these are concentrated formula, but this is made by Royal Talons. So I can add water to it. I can leave them as is, but if I wanna make it more of a painting, I can. Now this paper, this is my Royal Talons art creation sketchbook. This is not the best paper for this type of medium, but I'm hoping my new journal is going to be suitable. It should be, it says it's made out of watercolor paper. So it's my first time trying it from Art Journal of their watercolor journal. So we'll see. All right, so I think that wraps it up. Anything, I forgot anything. I will include it. So, all right, let's go ahead and start making art. So this is part two and I am going to be using all of these supplies to fill in my new journal. As I fill this journal, towards the end, I will show you some more bonus materials that I've been enjoying these past few months. The function of this journal is more of a wellness journal. This is for me to spend time with myself, reflect, and just have some positivity in my day. This is part of my self-care plan. So I want to spend more time journaling and I'm fusing art and writing to help with my mental health. Do any of you guys keep a journal? Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna show you how it dried. It dried pretty seamlessly. It did a nice gradient right there, so I like the way that came out. Pretty good for this paper. Um, it did eat up and the paper started to shred a bit. All right, so I don't have a complete idea of what I'm doing as far as the composition is going to be. Normally I would draft this out, but I'm just gonna go with it. I have the elements in my head what I want, but I'll figure out the placement and formatting as I go along. So 
let's see what I come up with. My plan is to start each month with a spread that I will go ahead and decorate by writing down the month and draw a little picture along with it. And towards the end of the video, I will explain how I'm going to fill the rest of the pages for the month. I decided to start off my drawing with my colored pencils and I drafted that all out and now I'm just taking a kneaded eraser and lifting off some of the color so when I paint over it, I won't see the color so much. To set the ground, I am doing some wet on wet. Have you tried this specific set of Kiritaki paints? I love these colors so much. I am madly in love with them. Now I did sell my other Kiritaki set, the one with more of the primary colors. It was I think 48 that came in the set. I didn't use them so I just sold them. I've been spring cleaning and selling things that I don't use. I forgot to mention this. Now I had mentioned this when I hauled this journal so you may remember or you may have not seen it but April is my birth month and that is why I started this journal in April. So it's a new year around the sun and I thought it was an appropriate time and cycle to start this practice, pick it up again. Now I did journal before in the past but it's been some time since I've done it and I felt like, you know, that's what I've been missing in my life. This is my first time using this watercolor paper as I had mentioned so I can't give you a thorough review on the paper but so far first impressions I like it I feel like it's pretty good it's decent paper for sure what I also like is that I can layer these markers and build up the opacity on the more pastel colors like the ones that I'm using and I can even change the color by layering different colors together and customize colors again this works best with the pastel colors and the colors that are more opaque and vibrant, you can't do that so much unless you start to mix them with water. Now, to complete this spread, I pretty much used all of my favorites except for my pocket brush pen. I felt that once I got near the end of this composition that it looked best the way it was and I just didn't want to do any add any black outlining or anything with black accents. I felt like it was good on its own so unfortunately I didn't use that supply but nonetheless it's still one of my favorites. This is a different day and this is the other side of the spread that I am prepping and doing some wet on wet. I want to start each month with something of an inspirational quote in regards to gratitude. So I had written, start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart. This is by Roy T. Bennett. And I also wrote, do what makes you happy and brings you peace to your heart. I am in much better spirits when I focus on gratitude and positivity. So I want to have this spread throughout my whole entire journal. Earlier, I had mentioned that this is part of my self-care plan. Other things that I plan to do to help my mental health and self-care is by exercising and trying to eat healthier, nourishing my mind, body, and soul. During this process, I really discovered that I like layering these two mediums together, watercolor and these markers. Prior to filming this video, I hadn't tried that yet, so I'm glad that I did and I found a new way to use these two materials. You guys, I don't know how, but I had filmed this and I don't know where the footage is. It somehow got lost, but I'll insert it here. I am loving this 
book on color harmony so it's Pantone edition and it has a bunch of different color combinations that you can use so that's what I chose to use to do the spread actually a quite a few of the clips that I thought I had filmed they're not there so another favorite is my fine tech watercolor and so I use this to do some accent work and highlighting so what do you do for your self-care do you have a self-care plan do you do anything if not do you plan on making a plan for yourself Take care of yourself because you deserve it. You need to spend time, carve out time to do things for yourself. You know, you do art. Art is part of it. But is there anything else like walking, working in a garden, so gardening, singing, dancing, hiking, doing your nails. I've been loving my twist beads and I have two of them. This one and this one. And that's what I did the lettering with. All right, so I think it's complete. And I wanna share with you what I plan on doing on the subsequent pages. Let me see if we can see the sheen on it. Look at that gold, it's so pretty. The iridescent accents are nice too. So, plan is guys, I might wanna do some collaging there and I took note because I'm just gonna stick it here when I get to it and build it during the month how I am creating gratitude this month so what am I doing to be grateful because that is very helpful to me in keeping me balanced and happy when I just enjoy the little things in life and I show gratitude for that what I am excited about this month so what am I looking forward to it is my birthday month so that is positive. Still alive, that's good. <laughs> Highlights of the month, you know, what came across this month that were standouts. And I love to look up inspirational quotes and write them down so I can always go back and refer to them. I do that quite often in my sketchbook and I also wanna do that in here as well. And this is something that I bought from Archer and Olive. I think it was a couple years ago. It's journaling prompt cards. And I want to do this at least once a month. So I'll have like little sayings on here. It says, who is someone you admire? Write about three of their qualities. Then write about how you also embody those qualities. So this just is another great mental health thing that I want to do. I don't think they sell these anymore. I wish they did, but there might be something on Amazon that would sell something like this because it's a wonderful idea. I love it. So that concludes everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful, entertaining, inspirational, useful, all of the above, and you got to check out a lot of the materials that I have been loving so far. I want to continue to do this like every quarter of the year to share with you guys what I've been using because I really want to rotate a lot of the supplies that I have and bring attention and use them as they need attention <laughs> because I have so many. If you watch my art hauls, which I do quite a bit of, you'll see that I do have a lot of supplies and I just want to use all of them as part of my art journey. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next video will be an art haul for my birthday. 
kind of went a little crazy on things. I didn't buy a lot, but the things that I bought were expensive. I am ashamed to admit it, but um, I felt like it was a good time to buy some of those things during, you know, your birthday. Why not treat yourself during that time? Life is short. Do what you love. <laughs> All right, guys, you take care, and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.